Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I want to talk about a new watch that I've actually picked up, and that is the Armatron Rubik. Now, first off, this is not the original band. The original band that this comes on is actually this one. Yes, I've actually picked up two. So it originally comes on this style of band, but I like having a few different options. So I threw a Casio band on here just to have a little bit of a difference so I've got the stock band here and then I have the Casio one here and then here is the Casio and this is the Casio A158W so here's the Casio on the other Armatron band so this is the competitor this is what Armatron is competing with and there is a reason why I'm going with the Armatron now the Casio is decent. Um, I have beaten this thing up. I have swam with it, showered with it. I have um, I've gone climbing with it, hiking with it. There's a lot you can do with this watch that it can take, but the downfall of it is it has a plastic case. Only has a stainless steel back, but the case itself is going to be made out of plastic. So the Armatron Rubik is actually all made out of stainless steel, all stainless steel on the back, and you get a fantastic watch. Now, I actually believe that a pressed back, um, you would just pop this off, put a new battery in, and then press it back. Um, you'd have to have a special press to do that, and also don't uh, try to break the crystal. But um, you would have a better chance of keeping this around versus having the screwed back because the screwed back you have a possibility of threading the plastic case or cross threading the screw intersection with the case and the screw so um, there is that issue and that same issue can be said for stainless steel cases so uh, higher end stainless steel cases usually don't have that issue because the threads are better, but when it comes to cheaper watches, that happens. So I bought this primarily because I was interested in it. Um, I paid $30 for this one and then I paid $20 for this one pre-owned on eBay. And I have to say I'm very impressed. This harkens back to some of the older Armatrons that were around back in the day, back in the 80s. And this comes in black, it comes in this bright blue, comes in a gray black um, affair with a mesh bracelet. It comes with the standard model, which is the, the black dial with the blue. And I, I think it is a fantastic watch for the money. I have recently found a new channel called Illuminating Watches on YouTube, and I have been binge watching this channel over and over and over. The amount of history this guy is able to throw into a five, 10 minute video is amazing. He does great work when it comes to citing his sources, and he has uh, renewed my love for digital watches. For a long time, I enjoyed digital watches, but you know, I always saw them as cheap things, and, and they are, they, they can be. But when it comes to something this great, I think it's worth the $30. Now, why is it worth the $30? Well, you get this, this stainless steel case. You also get, and they say it's Hesalite, okay? And they, meaning Armatron, they say that this crystal, this crystal is Hesalite. This crystal is actually mineral crystal. So to get a mineral crystal that is of this high quality cut in this shape is fantastic. Because what this means is you're going to get a durable crystal. It's not going to be sapphire, but it's going to be durable. It's going to be shatter resistant. You can break it, trust me, but it's going to be a little more shatter resistant than sapphire. So it sounds like that, very high pitched if you can hear it. But then when you come to the Casio, this is Hesalite. This crystal here is going to be plastic. And the good thing about that is you can buff it out. I have a couple times and you can get scratches out of it. But 
you get a deep scratch or anything like that, you it's gonna go deeper in this than it would a mineral crystal. So there is that benefit. The other benefit you get really is a, a really good looking watch that is going to perform a little bit better than the Casio in the long run. The Casio is a great disposable watch, but this Armatron with the stainless steel case, stainless steel buttons, and back means that it's going to be more resistant to salt, more resistant to sweat, grime, dirt, mud, whatever you may be doing. And that means you can also refinish this. So you could put some jeweler's tape on top of the crystal and reset and finish this with a scotch bright pad or, or something like that at home. And you would possibly be able to remove a deep scratch in the watch. Or you could file it away possibly and then sat and finish it. So that is one of the reasons why I think this is a better watch. The other reason I think it's a better watch is because, well, the readout is a little bit better, I think. I mean, that is just me. I think the readout's better. I think the activation of all the modes is a little bit better. So you get the alarm, you get a stopwatch, and then you get your setting. Whereas here you get the alarm, you get your stopwatch, you get a secondary time zone, which you do not get with the Casio. And then you also have your um, hourly chime, and then you have your alarm. So you get one more function out of this than the Casio, and these are actually going for about $25, $30. So why would you buy this over this? And you get a secondary time zone if you needed that. So if you needed to track another time zone or a relative lives in another time zone, you could have that there. And then you can just go back to your time zone. So I really find this to be a great buy, a wonderful purchase. And I did buy this one off of Amazon, okay? So Amazon has it, I got it for $30 after shipping and everything. Um, and I, I got a good deal on it, but it came late. So it did come late, but the other thing is, is one of the great things about ordering from Amazon is sometimes they make a mistake, a shipping mistake, and they actually sent me two. So I actually have three Rubik's, but I have this one here, which I have actually put on a Timex expansion band, which I think works really well with this angled case. It really kind of blends into the case and it's just really easy to get on and off. I mean, like you just throw it on, you're out the door, and then when you need to take it off, it's off. So I think these are great buys. If you like Casio, go with the Casio. I mean, these are dime a dozen. Um, these are dime a dozen also. Uh, Armatron is a little more prolific in America than it is in Europe or in Asia. So for me personally, I find the Armatron to be a little bit more... Um, accepted within the states i believe uh, there's a little more history people probably are more familiar with it but not to say that casio is not familiar either so i thought you guys would enjoy this video i know it's going on and on and on but i think this is a fantastic buy and i think you should probably pick one up if anything just to have a knock around quality watch so till the next one i will talk to you guys later Bye bye